Welcome to my opinion here on My Opinion TV. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell so as soon as a video is released, you'll be one of the first to be notified. And if you're watching this channel and you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and uh, help this channel's growth as we seek to develop and give you more insight into news and the sports is coming very soon. So just go ahead and subscribe and help to increase my subscriber base. This morning, we want to talk about a triple murder in none other than St. Elizabeth. You might have thought I would have said St. James. No, it's St. Elizabeth. And it seems like the virus is spreading across the island. Now, according to the Jamaica Observer, the police have identified three men who were shot and killed in St. Elizabeth at a party, a legal party, on Tuesday night. The deceased are 30-year-old Denworth Tape, 33-year-old Fabian Medley, and 37-year-old Jeffrey Singh. The police say that about 10 p.m., four men were at an unauthorized party at a bar in Elim District, a community northeast of Santa Cruz, when a black Voxy motor car drove up. A man alighted from the vehicle and opened fire hitting the men. They were rushed to the Mandeville Regional Hospital where Tate, Medley were pronounced dead. Singh later succumbed to his injuries. A 20-year-old man is said to be battling for life in the hospital. Now, based on what we are hearing, it seems as if persons are not taking heed to the call to avoid illegal parties. And it seems as if these people consistently use the illegal parties to carry out their acts of terror. Now, the police are saying that they can't monitor the illegal parties because, in all fairness, those parties should not be kept. <clears throat> the police is also saying that when these illegal parties are being held, these woodlums find it very easy to jump and attack whoever they want. Now, once... Before, it was the Yang Yang bikes. Now, it seems as if the Toyota Voxy is the, the motor vehicle of choice these woodlums are using. Now, all these three men have died leaving kids behind. Tate leaves a 10-year-old daughter. Medley, sister, says he loves his children. He leaves a 12-year-old daughter, a 10-year-old son, and an unborn child. So all these kids will be growing up without seeing their father. And all because of one person who decided that these persons should not live. I don't know what could have happened. I don't know what could have led to this. But at the end of the day, nobody's life should be taken by someone who can't give life. Who can't give life. Now, St. Elizabeth... Growing up was never the parish you would have heard of all of this tragedy. Especially these last days, St. James have been the parish that a lot of the... You, you expect the unexpected in St. James. Now, it has gone to St. Elizabeth. And as I've said over the time, is that a lot of these woodlums, a lot of these gangsters consistently migrate. They go to other communities and they infiltrate the communities and then problems start. A lot of persons see a lot of strange person turns up in their community, but they, they, they keep a blinded eye. And when they do that, it allows these men to build a base to create terror. Now, three persons from St. Elizabeth at this point are dead. One battling to save his life. Now, the perpetrator of this crime, if it's an illegal party, I guess persons should have seen the person who carry out this act and sometimes these persons work on intelligence just as though the police need intelligence these persons work on intelligence someone is at the party and call the person and say hey the person is here 
they are in this color shirt, this color pants, whatever. And then they show up and commit their act of terror. But I hope that someone will be bold enough to step forward and give evidence and tell the police what took place. And I hope, as a matter of fact, I have all confidence in the JCF these days that they have sufficient technologies to find out the killers or the killer of these men. But at the end of the day, families are being disorientated because of criminals. Kids are being growing up without father because of criminals. And parents are left grief stricken by the last of their family members. It's just sad that all three persons' lives were taken just like this. And if they could just abide by the rules, abide by the, 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 con the continuous cry to avoid illegal parties, a lot more lives could have been saved. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell. So as soon as a video is released, you'll be one of the first to be notified. Until next time, look out for the children, look out for a neighbor, look out for a loved one. And most of all, keep it locked on My Opinion TV.